Hey there, aviation enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today we've got some groundbreaking news that's set to revolutionize the world of aviation. Get ready to buckle up because we're about to introduce you to the game-changing F-130 dual-pod engine. Now this engine right here is a true game-changer, folks. The Department of the Air Force awarded a $2.6 billion contract back in 2021 to Rolls-Royce Corporation in Indianapolis, Indiana for B-52H Stratofortress military derivative commercial engines, the U.S. Air Force said. The competitive single award contract calls for 608 military derivative commercial engines, plus spare engines, related support equipment, and commercial technical data which will be used on the B-52H bomber fleet. It also calls for activities to keep the engines running. It's likely that the Rolls-Royce F-130 engine will replace the TF-33 PW-103 engine, which has been used to power the B-52 since the 1960s but won't be serviced after 2030. Boeing, which is the original equipment maker for the B-52, is responsible for putting the engines on the plane. By the end of 2028, the Air Force hopes to have finished all of the integration work and given out the first group of updated B-52H planes. The B-52 Commercial Engine Replacement Program, or SERP, is a complicated upgrade that not only gives the plane new engines, but also updates the flight deck, struts, and nacelles, said Brigadier General John Newberry, the Air Force Bomber's Program Executive Officer. Because we're still working on virtual and digital prototyping, we can now put the new engines and any other changes we want to make to the B-52 together before we make any real changes. Because of this, we were able to build the most cost-effective answer and shorten the time it takes to go from idea to production. It's expected that the B-52H will keep using the new engines that are being put on the B-52s until at least the year 2050. These new engines will also use less fuel, go farther, put out less pollution from unburned hydrocarbons, and have much lower upkeep costs. Major General Jason Armagast, head of Strategic Plans, Programs, and Requirements at Headquarters Air Force Global Strike Command, Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, said, The B-52 SERP is the most important and comprehensive upgrade to the B-52 in over 50 years. The B-52 SERP is the most important and thorough improvement to the B-52 in more than 50 years. The B-52 is the workhorse of the U.S. Bomber Force, and this will let it keep doing its important conventional and long-range missions well into the 2050s. The first two fully improved B-52s are expected to be delivered by the end of 2025. At that time, they'll be tested on the ground and in the air. It's expected that the first operating B-52s with the new engines will be delivered by the end of 2028. By 2035, the whole fleet will have been upgraded. Rolls-Royce North America says that the F-130 and its commercial family of engines have logged more than 27 million engine flying hours. The F-130 is a great choice for the B-52 because it's been shown to be reliable, has great cost over its whole life cycle, and has a low risk of integration. The C-37, G-550, and E-11 BACN or Battlefield Airborne Communications Node aircraft of the U.S. Air Force are both powered by a version of the Rolls-Royce engine that was picked to power the famous B-52. Tom Bell, chairman and CEO of Rolls-Royce North America and President Defense, said, We're proud to join the truly iconic U.S. Air Force program and provide world-class American-made engines that will power its missions for the next 30 years. We're proud to be part of a U.S. Air Force program that's so well-known. The F-130 is a tried-and-true cutting-edge and modern engine, and the B-52 is the perfect base for it. The manufacturer says that the F-130 is very reliable, has a high mission readiness, and needs little upkeep. After it's put on the wing, the F-130 can stay there for the rest of the B-52's expected life. Also, the engine that will be used in the F-130 will be much better at saving fuel, have a longer range, and make the plane less reliant on tanker planes. It's also important to know that the engine is ready to be put together with Rolls-Royce's cutting-edge digital engineering tools. Rolls-Royce has said that it will build and test the F-130 engines at its plant in Indianapolis, Indiana. This comes after a $600 million investment to improve the advanced manufacturing campus in Indianapolis. This will give them some of the most modern and highly advanced manufacturing facilities in the world. The B-52 SERP win means that the plant will need to make 650 engines and 150 new high-tech, high-skilled jobs will be created in the state of Indiana as a result. Craig McVeigh, Senior Vice President of Strategic Campaigns for Rolls-Royce Defense, said, 
This is a major win for Rolls-Royce. We've been planning our work and getting ready for this result. We're now ready to get to work and show that we're the best choice for the Air Force and the B-52. Our team is ready and willing to come through again for the brave men and women who fight for our rights and freedoms every day. Rolls-Royce has a long and successful history of giving the U.S. defense the power it needs to keep people safe. Rolls-Royce has given the U.S. Air Force thousands of engines over the course of more than seven decades. Rolls-Royce designs and makes all of the engines that power the U.S. Air Force's planes in Indianapolis. The Lockheed Martin C-130H and C-130J Hercules, the Bell Boeing CB-22 Osprey, and the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk all have these engines in them. Tom said it was impossible for the two of us to come to this decision by ourselves. Rolls-Royce is very thankful to our partners at the federal, state, and city levels for all the help they've given us. I appreciate everything you've done to help our bid. Today, there's a lot to be happy about for Rolls-Royce, the state of Indiana, the city of Indianapolis, and the future of the B-52 program. The first part of the deal, which has no set amount and no set date for delivery, is worth $500.9 million. Under the rules of the deal, Rolls will have to send a total of 608 engines, which will be used to put 8 engines on each of the 76 B-52 planes. By September 23, 2038, the engines will be finished being made and put in place. Rolls said that the real number of power units is 650. This number counts the extras. The Air Force didn't say anything about when the process of installing the system will begin. The engines will be made at Rolls-Royce plant in Indianapolis, Indiana, where the company says it's investing $600 million in an advanced manufacturing campus. The company says that 150 people will need to be hired for the jobs. At first, the cost of the SERP was estimated to be as high as $10 billion, but it turned out to be much less than that. The Air Force says it's gotten four bids for the competitive contract, which needs commercial engineering data, associated support gear, spare engines, and sustainment activities, according to the Pentagon. Since 2018, GE Aviation, Pratt & Whitney, and Rolls-Royce have been competing against each other in the SERP competition, which is a three-way battle between the three of them. The U.S. Air Force insisted on a paperless system in which the rival engines would fight it out on computers. This was one of a number of digital firsts that were used in the program. Also, the service insisted on having access to the technical data so that it could compete with other businesses for future work on the program. The SERP is just one part of a larger plan to update the B-52. Other parts of the plan include putting in a brand new radar, a digital control, and more improvements to networking. The Air Force will keep using the B-52s well into the 2050s, both as a base for weapons that can be used from a distance and as a direct attack plane that can be used after the enemy's defenses have been broken or have been defeated. The Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines that were put in the first B-52H, which was made in 1962, are still in use today. Pratt made a plan to improve the TF-33 in the early stages of the program, but the Air Force didn't accept it. The SERP is intended to improve the B-52's range and fuel efficiency by up to 40%, reducing the number of tankers it needs and letting it stay in one place longer. It's also believed that the engine will be more reliable, so much so that the engines will never have to be taken off the wing for the rest of the bomber's service life. Thanks for watching.